Good morning. We had 15 stations uh, submitting activity reports for uh, February 19th yesterday. Propagation was uh, probably pretty typical. Uh, we had no enhancement, uh, no, no major enhancement. Every day you have a QSB that uh, goes up and down. So uh, very important uh, when you're trying to work that distance station not to give up and continue trying and hopefully eventually uh, QSB will lift a little bit and uh, you'll, you'll actually wind up uh, getting that station in the log. Uh, previous attempts might have, uh, you might have listened and, and heard very little if any and all of a sudden the signal will just pop out of the noise. So that's why we have to aim our uh, antennas at the other station, make some noise and uh, uh, hopefully uh, make the contacts. They're not easy. I think that's why we all like uh, two meters. Uh, well, uh, after I got all of the uh, uh, activity reports compiled, I saw that uh, N3JDR had the uh, top total miles from FM19. Uh, N3JDR made six, had 16 contacts and totaled 4,251 miles. Um, looking down the uh, uh, entries, we had Whiskey Zulu on Victor uh, with the, uh, the highest total number of contacts, uh, 20 QSOs. Uh, versus Bill, who was uh, second at 16, and Ron had 3,705 miles, about 500 miles short of Bill's. So uh, two really, really significant entries. I was uh, um, very, very pleased with the number of people uh, that submitted reports. I think no, no matter how small the report, uh, um, I think it uh, it's a good thing. It's a good thing. It shows our level of uh, uh, activity on two meters plus... Uh, um, we can look here as long as my uh, uh, server stays up. We can check to see how we've done. AC3L submits reports every day, AC3L Mobile. And uh, um, AC3L Mobile is a report from yesterday. Uh, uh, pretty typical. Uh, Ed worked uh, three stations. He worked uh, uh, KATQK, KDHAQ, and myself. He worked us uh, on his way to work. Well, uh, um, Ed usually gives me a, uh, a signal level uh, from each station. Uh, yesterday, he uh, copied TQK with a 5.9 signal and uh, uh, JDQ with a 5.7 signal, and he copied me with a 5.5 uh, uh, signal. So, uh, and, and this is all on his route to work. Uh, he's down in Pittsburgh, and uh, he's working stations. Uh, his his best DX uh, every day is usually 196 miles to KATQK. Pretty significant. He's uh, in the car and uh, and driving, so uh, it's a whole lot better than FM, that's for sure. So I, I like to, to, to note that all of these uh, uh, reports, um, we just got them on my server. So that you can, if you submit a report, you can go back... Uh, uh, later, months later, hopefully years later. I don't know how long the server will uh, stay up, but for all of that time, we'll be able to uh, see how you've done. Uh, other interesting stations to look at may be uh, um, VE2PN. I'm pretty impressed with uh, uh, Mark's efforts. VE2PN up in uh, FN46, extremely uh, rare grid square, and uh, VE2PN... Uh, um, has a, a remote station set up there. It looks like he's uh, uh, gotten one of those storage containers. He's modified it by uh, uh, putting towers through the uh, interior of it and uh, um, putting his antennas up on top. I think that's uh, quite an effort. He's got all of the uh, equipment mounted here and he remotes it from uh, his home office. I'm not sure exactly how far from the station he's located but he's got it all working. Uh, it's a good job. And uh, he can go back and uh, see how well he's done, how many different stations he's worked, how many, which is, what, what's his best DX, his, uh, uh, his best total miles for the day. Looks like, uh, um, you know, just quickly, I see he worked 1,563 miles back here on 127. This is uh, um, all good stuff. So anyway, back to the uh, reason for the video. Um, well, it did not work out for me this morning. Uh, getting on the radio was not to be. So uh, I, I, I thought everything was fine, but everything was not fine. So I, uh, uh, I found I could control my, uh, uh, 
computer that had the audio on it, uh, which also has all of my uh, uh, switching programs. It has my rotor control programs and my TS-2000 programs. All of those programs are located on this one computer. And, uh, um, uh, you know, everything was working fine. The audio program is working fine. But uh, um, the other computer that I use is the uh, computer that has my LINRAD receiver. So the LINRAD receiver feeds audio to this particular computer here. Uh, and uh, uh, this computer here sends it back over to me, and I send audio back and forth uh, uh, through this program, IP Sound. Well, so I said, what in the world is going on? Uh, um, so I, I opened up the uh, modem settings on the uh, uh, modem out in FN01, and I noticed that uh, well, there are two computers that are uh, connected to the uh, um, internet out there to the modem. One of them is uh, uh, my computer. Uh, this CAST computer is uh, the name for the computer that does the uh, uh, all of the switching that works. This one, Potter, is uh, uh, operated by uh, the people that live at the site that my station's at. I let them use the uh, uh, internet wirelessly. So, But the third computer that should be connected here is not con connected, and that's my uh, LINRAD uh, uh, computer. So not able to uh, uh, access the computer. I I tried rebooting the uh, uh, I re rebooted the modem, and uh, um, I, when I finally came back online after rebooting, I also uh, rebooted this computer. Those are the only two things that I had any control over, and I had no control over the uh, um, the receiver program. So I'm stuck. Uh, hopefully I'll get somebody to maybe power the station off and power it back on. That often will bring it back. If the uh, um, receiver computer is uh, truly kaput um, and not working, well, I'll have to come up with some kind of alternative plans. Um, it's a long it's a long drive to uh, FN01, that's for sure. So uh, we've had good activity. Uh, uh, I will show you guys the... Uh, um, the log, I'll just hopefully get that back in here. Here we go. Okay, so the log for uh, 2018 is pretty awesome. 1,840. 1,840 is the uh, number of uh, uh, contacts I've made this year, which is uh, very, very spectacular. And uh, I do thank everybody for all of their effort uh, uh, to get on and try to work my station in my quest for 10,000. Uh, this particular... Uh, uh, problem that I'm having with the receiver computer could could stymie the effort. It really could. I hope not. I hope not, but uh, it could. It could. And uh, what else do I want to show you here? Uh, we'll go back here and show you how the uh, statistics look for the uh, long term uh, based on a baseline calculation. We'll go over here to uh, my quest and uh, we'll see that the uh, 1,840 QSOs. Um, we'll see that uh, as of 219, the uh, baseline is uh, 1,398. So uh, 28 QSOs a day will uh, give me 10,000 for the year. So far this year, we are 442 contacts ahead of the baseline. So uh, if I just maintain baseline for the rest of the year, we'll have 10,442 contacts. It's not going to happen today. We're going to drop uh, 28. It's this 14, 442 is going to drop by 28. Still be well ahead of baseline, but gosh, I'm hoping uh, um, hoping the computer comes back on. Uh, 417 unique stations this year. That's that's pretty awesome. Two meters is uh, alive and well in the Northeast. All right. Hope to hear you guys uh, tomorrow. Uh, uh, um, you would be I, my transmitter works, but without a receiver, it's uh, it's not so good. See you guys later.